I mean, it's kind of hard to, to even imagine, uh, to, to sort of encapsulate the over-the-top nature of this in such a great way, right? Yeah. I mean, so great cast, amazing things happen. What's the your, your favorite story to tell friends and family about what happened on set? <sighs> I mean, there's so many. I think, you know, we had 350 extras that we carried with us every day, and I think when you do that... It was the third time we had to have an HR seminar for what was appropriate and not appropriate. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. They kept stealing the things that were coming off the 3D printer. That was always a problem. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. Which, as we saw, are, are some pretty interesting take-home items. Yeah. Yeah. Um, top three things anyone should know to have for an awesome office Christmas party. Real Great life. music. Snow machine. And Courtney B. Vance. If you can work those three out and and your set. sneak it in, um, so many great scenes: animal fire, animals, fires, jousting, the whole thing. Your favorite, favorite scenes to film, favorite in the way they turned out. You know, like any good parent, we refused to pick. Yeah, it right. was, they were all of, great. It was kind of an amazing experience, top to bottom. But I mean, for me, I'll just say. I, the mayhem scenes, which are which are the horse riding through the office, that took months to plan, and and it was always touch and go whether the studio was going to let us do it. So we. And I think we for me, it might have been the dance circle. Yeah, for sure. It's the kind of thing that you you look at it and think, was there anything that they said no to? That the studio said no. Not to? Not a lot. I yeah, mean, let's not tell them that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we really had to fight to get our. No, I mean, it was. Um, they were really supportive studio. I think the great thing about a filmmaker-led studio like Spielberg and Amblin and DreamWorks is yeah. that um, they understand what it means to make a movie. And it's not about a bottom line. It's about getting the story right. And I think what we really wanted to do is not have a story about cubicle life, because you've seen that a million times, both on the Office TV show and great movies like Office Space. I think we wanted to do something that had some scale and scope so it felt like corporate. America that people sort of had a different and shoot take it in, in Chicago on. and do it do it like movies used to be made you know 15 years ago so it's almost like uh, workaholics on steroids exactly. and, and exactly. um, TJ Miller Jason Bateman why were they good for each other I think they're very the different yeah. yeah I think TJ is mayhem and I think Jason's got his feet on the ground I think the two of them together not only had great chemistry and really liked each other but they but bring they a whole well different off thing of each other yeah. yeah I mean Bateman for us is a little bit of a muse you yeah know? we love him and TJ's disruptive in a different way and you know yeah Best piece of advice, final thing for anyone going to their office Christmas party. We heard this amazing thing, which is that you're supposed to write the word tomorrow on your hand, so when you reach for that eighth drink, you realize you are supposed to show up to work tomorrow. So. Unless you chew it off. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Good advice. Great, guys. Thank, Thank you. you so much.